What's up, Colt? We're back. It's the one, the only, JT Ripper, and I'm here with Todd of Thunder. And uh, this is uh, going to be part two, Electric Boogaloo, of the best of 2023. We lied, and... Um, we said we we're going to do it in three parts, but I can't count, and so we're going to do it in four parts. Yeah, we yeah we we figured uh, 10, 10, 10, 10 to twenty. Remember yeah, that? because uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, cheap plug. <laughs> we um saw about forty horror movies, uh, which is a fucking lot. Hopefully, we, I don't know this year if we uh, watch more than forty. I don't know. Forty is kind of my top. Maybe I would hate to like watch like maybe eighty movies in one year, and then all of a sudden like do like eighty to one. You know what I mean? Like that would yeah. be pretty excessive. I think the only way that that would work is if we watch it, we review it individually, and at the end of the year, we only do top ten worst and top ten best. Yeah. Um yeah, yeah, we would have Other to. Other than that. We have to do, yeah, top 10, best you, top 10, Yeah, worst. you guys will get burnt out, we'll get burnt out, and we'll, like, fuck this shit. Yeah, we want to keep it, you know, as entertaining as much as possible, but. Today, we have 30. 30? Through 21? Is that it? No. We stopped at, uh, the, the I number. went. I went to 31. I uh, went to... Th see, yeah. what's, throwing, what's throwing us off is I had that one extra one. So I had 41 and you have 40. Yeah. So you're at 40 right now going to 29, uh, 21. No. no. Hold on. You're, <laughs> at, uh, you're at 30 going... Yeah. Because we did 10. I did 11. You did 10. Right? Yeah. <laughs> See, I was the last one on the last podcast, and I stopped at my number 31, which would have been your number 30, because yeah, yeah, my yeah. my 31 was talk to me, because that was the last one we... That's, that's right. Okay, See? I'm a putz. So, yeah, so we're starting off with 30, 30, 30 to 21. 30 to 21. Now we're back on track. I now we're back on track. I don't have that extra one, so now it's a pure 10. Yes. Now, now we're back on track with the track on back. Uh, so, without further ado, I guess we shall kick it off with my number 30. Uh, you, I think, talked about it last episode. Uh, no one will save you. Yes. I talked about that um, in in detail. So you go ahead and you give your thoughts um, you gave your thoughts on the, on it last time too, but if you want to elaborate, go ahead. Uh, it, it fucking sucks. You pretty much nailed it on the head when you were talking about it. It was, is very signs esque. Um, even the alien was, you know, very, you know, very typical looking gray yeah. alien, which I don't have a problem with. That's, that's fine. Stick with the devil, you know. Um, but what sucks is, is like the first house. Yeah. Second half of the movie is really good. The like, it's yeah, the, really good. But. The first half of the film is like fantastic, but then they they try to get to uh, what I call artsy fartsy, and they try to go in a different direction. That second half fell apart, like we said last time. It seems like it was directed by two different directors. You know, honestly, I I, I thought about it, and you know, um, this was actually a serious movie, but you know, Cabin in the Woods. Yeah, you know how it's like the endings, like the big foot comes down and it cuts to the credits, yeah. and you're like, huh? But but that movie was like off the rails, you know. It went horror comedy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This was like that ending, but serious. Yeah, we we uh, we said it, or uh, I think I worded it like uh, this was the perfect pasta commercial ending. Yeah, it, it was. They putzed it up, my new. Word for 2024 is putts. So uh, you're going to hear my, me. My new word is say scat. It. Scat. <laughs> scat. Uh, that was, that was a um, song from the 90s, Scat Man, or um, artist. I don't know, but I drew information. Um, instead of calling it shit, I call it scat. You mean Be inspiration? Yeah, what did I say? 
<laughs> information. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Anyway, I watch a lot of mountain monsters, and when they go out, and, and it shows, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> when they go out monster hunting, and they're looking for Bigfoot, they don't say, "Oh, look, there's some shit." They go, "Lord have mercy, there's some scat." <laughs> God Almighty! And they're like, "Check it, check it, Wild Bill, is it Bigfoot scat?" And he has to. He's like. <laughs> Yep, that's Bigfoot scat. Jesus Christ. So that's my new word for scat. 2024. Scat. That's how I feel about mountain monsters. Eat monster. scat, motherfucker. Uh, I'll make a shirt that says eat scat and die. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you check out our Instagram, I just made our, our new Wayne's World logo that we're thinking about doing a t-shirt. It says, uh, fuck A24. With uh, Wayne giving the thumbs up. Yes. Uh, we want a war with A24 in 2024. Mostly, the war uh, of 2024. We, we, we mostly want uh, the A24 stands to uh, come out of the woodwork and... Fans? The, the stands. The stands? Yeah. The stands. Because, the, I mean, in order to, like, I mean, there are stand fans of A24 who think everything that they do are, is just so special. So, you know, it is what it is. But let me get to my number 30 because it was a movie that you mentioned in the last episode. Yeah. And uh, my number 30 is Children of the Corn. <laughs> now, you gave your reason uh, your number one reason of really disliking this is because uh, of the uh, history that it did not live up to. Yeah, uh, being a part of the Children of Corn, um, I will say this uh, just a little quick lesson: uh, Children of the Corn is not a good series to begin with. Um, no. There are some uh, entertaining ones right there in the middle, but uh, towards the end, they're pretty bad, and I was hoping that this movie would kind of breathe some life back into the franchise, and pretty much everything that you said about the little girl stealing the spotlight and being the only good thing about the film is basically where I stand on this. I wanted this movie to be uh, enjoyable because I am a huge fan of rural towns and, you know there's not a whole lot of places to hide type of movies. Yeah. Uh, I like isolation. And when you get a, like a little small town and you know, you incorporate these kids who have this really messed up religion of he who walks behind the rose. And I was like, Oh man, it's scarecrow. Yeah. And then they actually show he who walks behind the rose, which they've never did in any of the other movies, or maybe they did in some of the later films, but they were scat. Um, so fucking putts. Anyway, uh, I'm agreeing with you. Um, you hated it a little bit more than I did, but I got it at 30. Cool deal. I know that my number 29 is not on your list because I watched it and you didn't. And that's infinity pool. Nope. I did not get around to watching infinity pool. So tell the cult what infinity pool is about. Fuck. I don't even know where to start. Um, so Brief brief synopsis. I'm going to try to brief this as much as possible. So, couple, writer, main character, go on a trip. Um, in this trip, they meet a another couple, uh, which is the girl from Maxine and uh, Pearl and X. Uh, Fuck, we just talked about her name. I'm telling you, I forgot already. The uh, girl with no eyebrows. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and she continues the no eyebrow in Infinity Pool. You know what she looks like? Uh, you know what she's trying to look like? She's trying to look like uh, Christina Ricci in Sleepy Hollow, but all the time. Possibly. She she's pro she probably is doing it like that. But um, anyway, they break the rules. They rent a car and you're not supposed to go out of their facility uh and we're i think they're in cuba or something like that anyway they go out drinking on the this part of the beach uh come back drunk all of a sudden um they when they come back they run over a farmer and then they try to hide it or well not hide it but they just leave him there 
And <laughs> then the next day they wake up and the police are like, all right, you got to come with us. And then they offer him some kind of thing that they have with the U.S. government where they kill you, but they make a clone of you. Okay. And you have to pay for you. You, you know, the money goes to the um, Cuban government anyway. So the family gets to kill your clone that you're not sure if it, if you watch the original guy die or the clone. It never answers that. Oh, okay. I got you. So um, it's a way of uh, satisfying somebody who has bit, had something wrong done to them. Yeah. Which is, okay, cool. You know, kind of like Pumpkinhead, kind of. Um, but then they start. You know, they don't care. So, like, you, you, um, let, let me. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, after you watch this guy die, which I'm pretty sure that the guy that actually died was the real guy. Mm -hmm. because the guy that watched it really was like emotionless and watching this. And even the wife was like, how could you not cry watching yourself die? Yeah. And then he, he didn't even say anything. He just like ignored it and did his own thing. Um, so, and then he goes with the girl, Maxine, um, they go to the secret group, just him, not his wife. Uh, and, there's these other people that have committed crimes and been cloned and they have like this little secret group and oh, it's an A24 film without being a fucking A24 film. It tries to like go in so many fucking directions. By the way, the girl from Maxine like jacks him off after like he takes a piss. Mm -hmm. Like you get to like... <laughs> Like, he's just, like, taking a piss. Obviously, like, you know, when you have, like, those scenes where it's, like, cutting his eyes and her, and you can see him, like, you know, the flirting going on without a word being said. Yeah. And then, like, he goes to take a piss, and he's drunk, and then she just comes up behind him, and then, like, it's, like, a close-up of the piss, and then you see, like, her, you know, and start jacking him off, and he's, like, making noises, and you see their faces, and then all of a sudden, where the close-up of the piss was, it cuts down, and you see, gloop. Not. <laughs> I shit you not. Anyway, going back to this shit. All this shit goes awry and like they start f fucking with him because they wanted to and the story just goes fucking everywhere. I don't even feel like explaining it. I really was like, what the fuck the whole time. I was very like drawn into it wanting to know what the fuck happened or what is going to happen and why it happened. And then it just ends on a weird note of the man's back home and then it cuts back to the beach and this tropical storm's coming in and he's just sitting there by himself. Well, you know, it's <clears throat> it sounds like Us Part 2. Remember Us? Yeah. The um, Jordan Peele movie where... Uh, that's exactly what it was about. It was about cloning. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like that. It just, I don't know. I, it wasn't, I know a lot of people were big about this movie. I think, uh, if I look at my note right here, I think I gave it a two or a three. Uh, sorry, people. Let's see. Infinity pool. I gave it a two. Uh, I know well, we, we, we didn't do an episode on this one. Yeah. Basically, a two equals to okay at the best. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, my number 29 is a movie you've already talked about, uh, and that's The Nun 2. Yeah, that was disappointing. Yeah, um, just to elaborate, uh, everything that 